Cecilia Malmström. I am Commissioner for Trade in the European Commission and I am responsible for negotiating the TTIP agreement, among other agreements. Well, the problem is that there are a lot of standards that are totally different because of different traditions, different political choices. We don't discuss them. Then there are lots of standards that are basically identical, but still different. So you have to do the tests twice, you have to inspect a factory twice, you have to make the car crash test twice, you have to make sure that your clothes are not inflammable twice. So we're looking at if we can recognize each other's standards, so you only have to do that test once. Uh, not harmonizing, but mutual recognition. Uh, and that will save a lot of money, especially for small and business, uh, small and medium-sized companies. Big companies, they can put aside a special budget for this, but smaller companies, for them it's really cumbersome. Uh, I've met many small companies who spend a day, a week, just filling in the forms or doing the tests. And of course, if they can use that time and money, they could sell more products or maybe employ more people. We don't want to do that. We want to build upon a system that has existed since the 50s which protects investment. Uh, investments need to be protected against expropriation, nationalisation uh, or, or discrimination. That, that is reasonable, I think everybody agrees with that. And we have had this system for, for, for years, the whole world have, have them in their different bilateral uh, agreements, there are more than 3,000. But they are a bit old-fashioned, they need to be modernised uh, in order to gain more legitimacy. So that's why we have embarked on a reform process, making them more limited, when can they be used, more transparent, making sure that it is in the law that a state can always legislate to protect its citizens, a company cannot put that into question, and making a more court-like system. And in the future I hope this could be a multilateral system, because they are globally in need of reform. That's the goal to have a multilateral court-like system, yes. This is uh, an issue that, that many people uh, are, are afraid about and I want to calm them in saying that, that we are not lowering any standards when it comes to environmental or consumer protection, neither in, the Europe, in Europe nor in the United States. Uh, what we're looking at if we can recognize standards that are equivalent, but when they are different, they're not even on the table. And for future standards, we have said very clearly that we can cooperate in order to set new standards, because it would be good if we had the, the same, but that does not mean a race to the bottom. It does not mean lowering any standards. This is very clear in my mandate and also member states and the European Parliament who watch this very carefully. Because of course there would be new problems, new products or services to regulate. And if we jointly, with the best regulators in the world, in Europe and the US and, and, and science, and we sit together on an advisory basis to exchange experiences and data, we could go do something that is really good for, for the product safety and for the environment, and also those could be global standards. Well, actually, I think that small and medium-sized companies has much more to gain from, from TTIP because big companies, they already operate on both sides of the Atlantic. They have large uh, departments who can compensate for tariffs and bureaucracy. They have their lawyers, they have their ways to cooperate with other companies as well to get better access to market. But small companies don't have that. So it is them who will gain from lower tariffs, less bureaucracy, more, more uh, equal standards. And that's why we are also envisaging having a specific chapter in TTIP for medium-sized uh, companies and small companies. We have proposed to our American friends to set up a web site, a one-stop shop, so to say, explaining where are the benefits, where do you go, what are the rules for small and medium-sized companies. Thank you.